You're muted, Katrina. Just say a few words. First of all, this is an example, it seems to me today, of uh, the importance of public debate, of informed debate, of debate informed by an understanding of history. Um, we, we meet in 2022, but as so many of you know very well, this is a situation which has long roots from our land way back, but I mean, at least 2014, as John's essay reminds. Uh, but I, I just want to say briefly about the, Amer the American Committee for East-West Accord. I mean, it is shocking, I know, to Ambassador Matlock that we are at a moment where the embassies and consulates are shut down. You spent much of your time as ambassador, I think, trying to ensure that Russians could travel and that there would be access. But from nuclear nonproliferation to economics to energy, uh, these have been heedlessly, dangerously discarded as projects of cooperation. Um, and we look back, uh, we look at the end of the Soviet Union, but we also look today at 2014 where decisions were made. NATO expansion was referenced, different points of NATO expansion. But I, I think I conclude with, I don't think there's ever been an absence of American discourse, democratic discourse as such a fateful with the ability to continue this discourse in the you know, the face of what Professor Mearsheimer rightly referenced, a frenzy, a frenzy of, you know, there is barbarity, uh, but there's also an understanding that uh, there's a need to end it. And if we're going to end it, there has to be some sense of history. So I just want to thank you all uh, for participating in this civil debate. And uh, there's more to be done, and I hope we'll, we will continue more of these. And I thank you, Professor Mearsheimer. It's, I'm sure it's a very, it's a very difficult, uh, you know, obviously for Ukrainians and for this geopolitical crisis, but to have a voice uh, that is speaking in the ways you are is important. Uh, there is a lockdown of, of uh, information and analysis and history. As you mentioned, the narratives Narratives are important. So um, my view is, you know, we can't have a stable world until there's partnership, if not, you know, partnership between the US and Russia. Uh, it's gonna be very hard to get to. Uh, we are working at the nation and at Acura with people inside Russia, the independent press, and trying to uh, ensure that, my last point is that the demonization of Russians doesn't swallow up and contribute to an enduring Cold War. But thank you very much for all joining, taking time out of your busy days and um, grateful to you, Professor Mearsheimer. My pleasure, Katrina. And please, if you might, people come to usrussiaaccord.org. If you seek, um, it's a site where we do present alternative views in the belief that they are needed now more than ever. Thank you very much.